that I'm absolutely convinced that there is a whole agenda to keep population in so-called low vibration. Why is that and what, what does it actually mean? Think about it. If you are angry, stressed, what kind of reality you create from that level? Think about it. Hey, this is Mike Sigala from TrueFury.com and welcome to another video. So before we're gonna start, I just wanna let you know that you should check out my brand new master class called How to Turn Your Life Around and Escape the Matrix. This is the title. You can register to watch this master class for free if you go to TrueFury.com forward slash masterclass or we're gonna leave the link below this video as well. And some of the things you're gonna learn there is how the matrix programming works and how you can deprogram yourself from this programming. And another really important thing is what is blocking so many of us from reaching our goals? Because there is something that a lot of people don't know about that very often is blocking us from getting what we want in life, for example. So these are some of the topics that we are covering in this master class. So please check it out. Go to truefury.com forward slash masterclass or check out the link below the video. And now let's talk about the topic. So recently I've been talking to some friends or people and uh, I'm hearing more and more that people are concerned about the state of the world, that they are afraid what's gonna happen, that they are angry, stressed because of what they hear from the news, basically. For example, that there might be another lockdown or the war might break out or what happened in Hawaii and things like that, right? So I want to talk today about the fear and fear mongering because in my view, this is purposely orchestrated to keep population in low vibrational state. What do I mean by that? So for example, if you watch the news, it's just constant fear mongering. There are gonna be food shortages. There's gonna be the World War III will break out every minute. Putin will attack us with nuclear weapons. The truth is that, first of all, media relies on fear, right? There is something called negativity bias, which basically means that apparently we have these evolutionary mechanisms where we pay attention to negative events way more than to positive. The reason behind it is because, let's say, in the past you had to evaluate the danger quickly, right? Let's say, in, you know, thousands of years ago, something like that, in Savannah, if there was a threat, you had to act quickly, right? The theory is that we develop these mechanisms to pay attention to something negative fearful, etc. right? And apparently what's happening is that our good old media companies love to take advantage of that and feed you constant fear, right? Because then you're gonna watch it, you're gonna pay attention, you're gonna get stress about it, right? So this is one thing to remember, right? That most of this stuff is either blown out of proportions or doesn't affect you directly. And if you can't do anything about it, and if it doesn't affect you, then being scared and, you know, thinking about it and analyzing it and being angry definitely doesn't help in anything, right? Another thing is that I'm absolutely convinced that there is a whole agenda to keep population in so-called low vibration. Why is that and what, what does it actually mean? So for example, the fear mongering in the media, right? This is one thing. It makes people angry, makes people focus on these things. Then the whole system in society is creating this fight or flight mode, right? So people fight for survival. 
to just to pay the bills or you know, later on just to consume more and more and more, right? But to do that, they constantly need to be in that mode of working very hard, getting exhausted, exploited, things like that, right? So it's either fear-mongering or keeping people on the hamster wheel in that fight or flight mode, right? And what happens when people are in those states? These are low vibration states because you are angry, agitated, stressed, in fear, etc., right? These types of states, first of all, you cannot have growth when you are in fight or flight, right? You cannot often think clearly when you are in fight or flight, right? The decision making is tempered here. You often don't even have time to think clearly or to analyze something deeper because you're just gonna accept whatever is the narrative, for example, right? But I think there is even bigger reason why this is by design in society. So my view is that collectively we create reality. So if you are focusing on those food shortages that might come or the war that might break out or whatever negative thing the media tells you is gonna happen, you are more likely to manifest that. You are more likely to shift into the timeline where these things might happen, right? Think about it. If you are angry, stressed, what kind of reality you create from that level? Think about it. What things we attract, what things we manifest if we are in that state? Nothing good, right? To manifest positive reality, you have to be in high vibrational state, which is excitement, which is happiness, which is joy, which is gratitude. If you can be in those states, you attract more of the same and you shift into versions of reality where these things can manifest. So think about it. I know there is a lot of negative things going on in the world, but if you give it your attention, if it affects your mood, your thinking, your behavior, if you pay a lot of attention to these things and makes you angry, you, you are not helping anyone in this way. You are not solving any problem here. In fact, it works the other way around. <laughs> it creates negative results. So really, my view is the most important is to not get affected by that. If it really absorbs you, just don't watch that. Don't watch the news, don't listen to it. Focus on being in that positive state. Focus on working on yourself, improving yourself, being healthier, having high vibrations and then just being the change helping others if you can doing some of these things that bring you real joy joining communities helping activists that you know get censored for example by donations or patron or just buying products from them or whatever vote with your dollars start some kind of movements communities be an example this is how you're gonna affect things by being scared and being angry at whatever is going on you're not helping much <laughs> so hope this is useful please let me know in the comments um, share the video if it resonates give it a like Follow me on Instagram, it's Mike Saigula on Instagram. And join my masterclass. Go to truefury.com forward slash masterclass or check out the link below. And thanks for watching. Until next time.